This content is brought to you by BEC Financial Technologies, developing and operating IT for Danish banks. My name is Oscar, and um, I want to talk to you about prompt compressor today. Yeah, previously, um, I used to talk about Porter. It was uh, this little project to port your JS to TypeScript. But people from this audience told me, why don't you like port your TypeScript in, back into JS because it makes more sense. Um, yeah, it was during ChatGPT uh, free days. So um, during that time, I also developed another thing. Uh, basically, it was calling GPT in a loop and trying to force it to make this thing that I really wanted. Um, yeah, it's basically kind of agent kind of thing. So um, yeah. There are two kinds of people, right? Uh, some people try to desperately keep AI inside a box so it won't do net naughty stuff. So there are other people <laughs> trying uh, to give it all SSH keys, all their secrets, all their password, and put it into the world and uh, tell it to get out of the box, right? So um, I was the latter. So I wanted to see how far can it go with uh, all my access to my to, to, to account on cloud on on GCP, um, but it was ChatGPT if you remember ChatGPT free if you remember. So limitations were pretty harsh. It was like 2,048 tokens. It ain't much. Uh, so yeah, I tried to work with that. I wanted to run commands and. Often, when you see outputs of certain commands, they're not really that dense in terms of information. Sometimes you can just remove entire like parts of text and it still works, it still makes sense. Um, so removing random tokens works pretty well. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, just it's a very simple idea. Just remove random tokens from the prompt. It will make your information denser. And uh, you can actually read this sentence, right? With some letters missing. Uh, so LLM can do that too. So um, yeah, it, it's kind of crazy idea, but it also kind of works. Uh, one one of colleagues from my office told me, "Why don't you benchmark it? If it, if it makes sense, it should, you should it should produce some numbers, right?" So it did. Uh, I have no idea like why these charts. I, I I didn't investigate them too too deep, but it actually like seems kind of makes sense. But why it's better when you remove like ten percent of tokens, <laughs> maybe. Maybe there are people that like understand science and stuff. Then uh, please help me to understand this. Here, if you remove like twenty percent of tokens in this benchmark, it's even better <laughs> than with all the tokens. <laughs> I know. Uh, so yeah, I made it into like kind of a Docker container to make it like invisible proxy. So this is a prompt compressor. You can just plug it into your existing LLM stack, and it will work. Um, yeah, so this is kind of how it works. You send the prompt, prompt compressor, just, you know, do the compression, send it to like OpenAI or whatever, and you get response. Uh, so basically, yeah, it's a GitHub project. You can contribute if you will, you can use it. Uh, yeah, it, it, I won't steal your uh, OpenAI key because, it, yeah, it's, it's secret. Um, so yeah, that's it. If, <laughs> if you want to contact me, uh, please feel free to reach out. <laughs> where's where's uh, where's the host? <laughs> okay, so I will just maybe there are some questions. Okay, uh, I have one question. Uh, because on the slide you demonstrated uh, delete, deleting tokens, uh, like removing some letters, uh, but tokens uh, usually do not contain uh, the specific letters, or uh, but, but more, uh, more more usually uh, the whole phrases or something. So, uh, does removing specific letters really? 
uh, change lowers the number of tokens uh, that we use because for, for, for example there can be a token you are uh, and when you remove this O and the, the, those A and the E or uh, whatever, then it divides into two, two tokens, yep, which are yep. understandable. Yep, that's that's a very good question. And actually, that was for like demonstration purposes. But actually, that's that's very right. That, that tokens are like parts of, of words, like a couple of letters, and they're like there's corpus of tokens for particular LLM, right? So. Removing letters like not necessarily wouldn't necessarily lower the number of tokens, um, but actually in actual implementation, I tokenize the input and then remove tokens, not just letters, but uh, entire tokens from from input. Um, so it was just for demo purposes, but in actual like code, it's removing tokens, not letters. Okay, thanks. So I was wondering, um, so do you have like any approach or algorithm that uh, you use when determining which tokens to remove? Like um, there are, uh, are there some like redundant uh, protocol info or something or it's just uh, random tokens? Yeah, this is uh, also a good question. I also yeah tried to put some fun into this, but actually for like in, in this version, maybe it's future improvement. But um, yeah, actually, we could do much better than removing just random tokens. Um, we could maybe also use like lemantization to just shorten the words, and uh, LLM can like eat them also like very well and and make sense of that. Uh, so that would be another approach. Yeah. Okay, so it's like um, trying to compress them. Yeah. Compressor, uh, like retain the sense of the tokens, and uh, but without additional info. Yeah, exactly. And and also the trick is to make it in like lightweight way, right? So we don't want to have another LLM call to uh, compress the message, but it should be something very simple to not put like uh, heavy load or additional costs. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And with that in mind, we thank you for your valuable contribution.